Hi, I'm Tom Antion from GreatInternetMarketingTraining.com. I'm here to give you a search engine tutorial. I'm going to give you 13, a lucky 13 tips to get high rankings in the search engines. And these 13 tips are what get me in trouble and why the search engine optimization people hate me. The, uh, if you type my name into the internet, about the only thing you ever see bad about me is the search engine optimization people and their web designer buddies attack me because I teach you this kind of stuff when they want to keep it a big secret so that you can't do it yourself. But I've got plenty of people that learn how to do it in a couple hours. They farm out most of it to high school students, which is what a lot of these search engine optimizing places will do for you anyway. They'll spend, charge you a thousand and, and uh, farming out the kids for uh, eight bucks an hour to do it. So I'm going to give you the, the 13 points you need to learn about to get high search engine rankings, and I got plenty of them to back up what I'm saying. First of all, your website needs to be all about one keyword. You can't be a jack of all trades. You'll never have great success on a regular old uh, website if you talk about too many different things. If it's all about one topic, you'll raise in the in the rankings much faster. Number two, make sure it's a clean website without all the fancy elements that junk up your code. So any kind of drop down menus for your navigation, flash openings, all of those kinds of elements, flashing this and that, uh, will hurt your search engine positioning because the spiders can't find your keywords as easily. Number three, use a site map. Make it easy for the search engine spiders to find all your pages and index them. Uh, the, a new, you know, Google has one, or there's uh, methods that we use that are a little bit different, but use a sitemap. Use good keyword placement, and your page title is critical. That's 90% of the whole deal. Make sure your page titles have, and each page is a separate entity, have the proper keywords. But make sure you also learn about keyword placement for keywords on the rest of your page. That'll really give you the, the competitive edge. That was number four. Number five, use an acceptable keyword density. That's the ratio of how many keywords are on the page to total numbers. And just don't get wild about it. Don't have too little and don't have massively too much. These were uh, When you have too much, the search engine thinks you're trying to cheat it. That's number five. Number six, Use lots of content pages. I call them a modern day side door pages. These are, what I do is just make articles around 500 words and have lots of them on the same topic. All right, number, let's see, what was that? Number seven now, good internal link strategy. Uh, Sitemap will help you with this and linking your own pages together so the search engines can get through them. That's number seven. Number eight, good uh, incoming link strategy, and this is a critical one. This is one of the most important things you could ever do, is have a lot of and high quality links coming into your site. That's probably the bigger than everything else put together, so make sure you have a good link strategy. Now, number nine, have a strict outgoing link policy. See, a lot of people don't know that the way you link out of your site could really hurt you. So make sure you're very strict, you learn what to do about outgoing links. That was number nine. Number 10, have a supporting blog. A lot of times you can get much faster results if you have a blog on a different server. Don't have it on the same website that you're trying to promote. And it'll get, uh, and you, we use this, it's, it's called the blog and ping method, which is kind of old, but it still works because if you can get the search engines to find your pages as opposed to you submitting them directly, uh, that gives you a few brownie points. So we use a blog whenever we put new pages on a website to announce them because the blog posting goes to the blog directories. The search engine visits there all day long because that's where the fresh content of the world is and your pages get indexed a little faster. It used to be within a couple days. Now it's still a while, but it's still better than submitting directly. All right, now number 11, <clears throat> avoid PDF sites. Uh, still to this day, even though search engines can index PDF uh, files, they're not great at indexing the words in them. So yes, you can have uh, PDF files as an addition to your HTML text, 
for the convenience of your audience, but don't think it's going to help you a lot in the search engines. That's number 11. Number 12, make good, of, uh, good use of social networking sites. MySpace, Squidoo, all the ones that are coming on the scene that have enormous traffic. Just get a presence there, even if it's just for the link back there. And if anybody happens to visit your site, that's a bonus. Um, and number 13, make simple videos like I'm making right now. Learn how to use YouTube, and there's about 30 or 40 other video hosting sites. Uh, one place you can go to help you with this is Kickstart Sound, kickstartsound.com, where you can find a video geyser that will help you with the upload process. Because a video like this could take me 20 hours to upload it to all these sites, where it takes 10 minutes uh, to do it with this service over at Kickstart Sound. So, if you like this tutorial, this is just one fraction of what I teach a lot of my students at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. I'm not a geek that just uh, does all this theory and, and doesn't make a lot of money. We make tons of money in my business, and I have been doing it for many years, have a track record longer than your arm. And again, when the search engine optimizing people see this, they're going to start attacking me again. So uh, just expect that if you go looking up my name. Anyway, I'm Tom Antion. Visit us at greatinternetmarketing.com. You'll see a video on my retreat center. I have uh, the only facility of its kind in the world where you can come in and study with me for a long weekend. And also there's a learning brochure that shows you the nine different revenue streams that we have in our internet business. I'm Tom Antion. I'll see you over at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com.